Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Welcome to today's 10x genomics webinar titled Targeted Gene Expression, Focus on the Genes that Matter the Most, co-hosted with the Pernod Technologies, 10x Genomics Authorized Distributor in Poland. I'm Valentina Meneghin, uh, EMEA Regional Marketing Manager here at the Next Genomics, and I will be your moderator for today. Now that we are ready to start, if you can move to the next slide, Luca. Awesome, before we get started, let's go over some quick housekeeping items. We are recording uh, this session and we'll make uh, it available shortly. Please note that all attendees are on mute and if you would like to ask a question, please submit it using the Q&A option on your uh, screen. And now let's meet our speakers for, uh, uh, for today. We have Luca Mazzitelli, the next Genomics Science and Technology Advisor. Katerina Danielski, the next Genomics Field Application Scientist. Wojciech Dulas, Sales Manager at Perlan um, Technologies. Uh, and now I'm going to hand it off to Wojciech to get started with his uh, introduction. Thank you, Valentina, very much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you for spending the next hour with us. Uh, we would like to briefly describe you new 10x genomics solutions that were recently introduced into Polish market. But first, I would like to start with uh, introduction of the team at Perlan Technologies. Sorry. Mm -hmm. There is a delay, I think. Okay, so in case you have any questions and you would like to ask us uh, or send any requests after this webinar, you can use our generic email address, which is uh, bio at perlan.com.pl or our generic telephone number, uh, which you can see right now. The team of uh, dedicated specialists will contact you. It is uh, Bartek, Janek, Tomek and Wojtek and they uh, will contact you depending on which region you live in. We also have uh, our dedicated field application specialist uh, here in Poland, uh, Anja, and she will help you to gain more in-depth knowledge about Tenix Genomics solution. Uh, lastly, I would like to inform you that uh, still there is a possibility to apply for a dedicated grant uh, related for COVID-19 research and uh, soon there should be another deadline for these grant application submissions and I have no idea why I can't change the slide right now. Uh, so maybe I will give back the control over to Luca and Luca can proceed uh, further on with his presentation. Sure. Let me see if it works. Okay. Yes, this is the, the slide I wanted to show you. So as you can see, the next uh, deadline for submission is July 24th, and then there will be a third round, uh, December 31st. So uh, I am sure that Tenix Genomics Solution can be included in these grant applications. I'm sure that they would boost your research regarding uh, SARS-CoV-2. So thank you very much. Uh, Luca, uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, give your talk. Thank you, Wojtek. Yes, I was also experiencing uh, a bit of delay in my slide presentation. I just want to introduce you as well that uh, um, in collaboration with Berlin on the next uh, 14th of July, uh, we will also launch a dedicated seminar to Visium. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, spatial gene expression uh, and how to map the gene expression on uh, tissue sections. Um, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. First, today I want to give you a bit of background on our uh, core platforms uh, for those uh, that maybe you are not familiar with them just a brief introduction, um, really to assess uh, the phenotype and function 
of each different uh, cell within a biological system or a disease state, we need to understand the biology at its fundamental unit of resolution. And uh, in this case, single cell gene expression analysis provides this type of information. Uh, it's an unbiased approach based on the transcriptome profile that enables you to resolve uh, heterogeneous uh, cell population or identify rare cell types uh, or discover uh, new uh, cell biomarkers, um, uh, by mole molecular biomarkers within uh, complex samples uh, such as cancer or other uh, tissue types. Uh, this is our uh, single cell uh, gene expression workflow, which consists of an, uh, an integrated uh, um, a solution made of uh, instruments like the chromium controller that we see here, uh, consumables and reagents to take you all the way from single cell suspension to a sequencing uh, ready library. And using the ten and the end on, on the X side of the sequencer, using the, the 10x genomic software, then we can convert those uh, um, raw sequencing data into biological, uh, relevant, and interesting form that you can start then uh, to visualize and understand. So this technology enables you to get uh, sensible gene expression data from hundred to tens of thousands of single cells, and you can add on simultaneously multi-omics readouts thanks to our feature barcoding technology. For example, you can combine the single cell gene expression with the cell surface protein detection, or you can even access the effect of CRISPR perturbation, like PERTURB-seq, at single cell resolution. Moving on to the next slide, um, with our uh, single cell immune profile product, uh, it's uh, a solution to study innate and adaptive uh, immune system. Uh, and we have also here the same general workflow going from uh, single cell suspension to sequencing uh, library. And we can obtain uh, gene expression data simultaneously and reach uh, for and uh, as well sequence T cell receptor and B cell immunoglobulin. Even pair the alpha and beta chain sequencing uh, from uh, uh, individual T cells or pair heavy and light chain sequences from, uh, from individual uh, B cell. Just to give you an example, here I wanted uh, to report um, uh, to show this uh, uh, publication uh, where uh, the, single, the single cell immune profiling solution was uh, applied. So, you know, immunotherapies that block inhibitory checkpoint receptors on uh, T cells have transformed uh, the clinical care of patients uh, with, um, with cancer. And uh, in this publication, the immune profiling solution was used on a sorted population of uh, immune cells to track uh, T cell receptor clones and transcriptional uh, phenotypes from patients with uh, basal or squamous, uh, squamous cell carcinoma, which is one of the most common uh, form of skin cancer. Uh, and they have done this, uh, this profiling bef uh, on patients before and after uh, anti-PD-1 uh, treatment. What, they, uh, what the results told them uh, was that the expansion of T-cell clones uh, responding to a checkpoint blockade did not derive from pre-existing tumor infiltrating uh, lymphocytes. Instead, what they noticed that the expanded clone consisted of novel clonotypes that have not previously been observed in the same tumors. So clonal, uh, the clonal replacement of the T cells was preferentially observed in uh, exhausted uh, CD8 positive T cell and evident in patients with basal and squamous cell carcinoma. And this, important as, uh, this discovery has important implication uh, in drug development in cancer immunotherapy, which is at the moment largely focused on T cells that are near or inside uh, of a tumor. Um, it would be nice also to identify maybe where those T cells are localized within the tissue. So that's those, 
the reason why I want to introduce you our uh, Visium Spatial uh, platform. Um, here you can obtain uh, gene expression data from the whole tissue section uh, from a variety uh, of uh, sample types. And this solution enables to unreveal uh, un un the biological architecture in normal and diseased tissue and discover new uh, tissue biomarkers. Uh, also in this case, we are talking about an assay that has an end-to-end -end workflow from uh, tissue test section to cDNA library within uh, one working day and uses equipment and tools for tissue analysis that are already present in, um, in your lab, like a microtome for tissue sectioning and, uh, and a, bright, a bright field microscope to capture the uh, HNA image. Again, uh, on the other side, on the other end of the sequencer, then we provide uh, our bioinformatic pipeline and uh, the visualization software uh, to be able then to merge uh, the imaging and the molecular data uh, together. Uh, and so it will be possible to map and position the gene expression activity on the tissue image. Uh, this is another example related uh, and actually is our uh, is uh, the first preprint in which uh, the um the Visium platform was uh, used was used um, scientists from the Liber Institute of Brain Development explored the uh, relationship between cellular function uh, phenotype and location in uh, six layered uh, human dorsolateral prefrontal uh, cortex um, and they observed, um, they identify some markers uh, specific to each layers, and they observed that the laminar position of a brain cell impacts its gene expression, morphology, physiology, and function. Um, uh, they also identify so differential uh, uh, layer enriched expression of genes uh, that are associated with the schizophrenia and the autism spectrum disorder, uh, highlighting in this way the clinical relevance of a special, a specially defined expression. Just to be short on what we are actually capturing with our system and also what we are measuring here um, is basically and how you are able to maintain the single cell or the spatial resolution. Uh, this slide, uh, I will, it's useful to remind you or just to introduce you to our uh, core technology. At the heart of other technology is the ability to um, partition cells and uh, barcode targets efficiently, such that you can maintain the identity of single cell and uh, spatial regions or even additional features. Um, on the top of the slide for the chromium single cell system, um, as I mentioned before, you can start with 100 uh, to tens of thousands of cells in suspension and then uh, generate a large number of gel beads in partition that encapsulate each tiny microreaction. Uh, it all starts here with the 10x uh, barcoded uh, gel beads and uh, your sample of interest, which is a dissociated uh, cell suspension. Um, your cell with the enzymatic uh, reagents will be loaded on the microfluidic uh, chip and partitioned to become gems, which are gel beads in emulsion. So you got these all uh, droplets, or we call them gems, in uh, oil bath, and uh, each one is um, like 1 to 10% of those uh, gems that we find here in this recovery well uh, is partitioned with barcoded gel beads and, a sing and containing a single cell. Within uh, each droplet, um, once the cell is sliced, the messenger RNA undergoes through reverse transcription to generate cDNA, uh, where all the cDNA then from individual uh, cells is indexed with the chromium 10x barcode. Um, and the final output is a transcriptome profile of uh, each cell where a unique barcode tags the messenger RNA of a single cell. Uh, similarly, uh, for the vision uh, system, which is shown at the bottom of the slide, 
Um, we are not doing a partitioning but, uh, in droplets, but we use a, micros um, a microscope, a modified microscope slide to enable uh, uh, the novel spatial barcoding technology. So fresh frozen, uh, fresh frozen tissue sections are uh, um, placed onto a slide, uh, each section uh, in a capture area with uh, uh, 5,000 barcoded uh, spots shown here as uh, uh, dots of different colors. Uh, each spot uh, consists of millions of oligonucleotides that contain uh, a couple of different features. We have, um, there is a, a poly -DT to capture uh, the messenger RNA, uh, a unique molecular identifier, UMI, that counts the number of RNA molecules and a special barcode that allows you to look um, um, where that messenger RNA came from within a capture area on the slide. Each spot is uh, 55 microns in uh, diameters. Um, so in average, you can capture one to 10 cells per spot uh, that can be detected, but this depending on the cell size as well on the tissue type. Uh, until now, I was talking about a say for whole transcriptome analysis. That means that you can use the poly-DT uh, to capture uh, the poly-A of messenger RNA molecules, and then you can look at the global transcriptome of each of the cell or nucleus or spatial uh, um, uh, 10x Genomics has basically uh, recently uh, announced that the targeted gene uh, the, has recently announced that um, the solution of the targeted gene expression assay that is compatible with our uh, uh, whole transcriptome solution, and uh, we saw them here. Um, to profile, uh, therefore, a define, and it, that can be used to define a pro, um, uh, to profile defined set of transcripts from single cells or uh, tissue sections. Why you want to do targeted gene expression? This solution basically is a way to move from a novel targeted discovery to uh, focus on uh, uh, to focus gene expression. And uh, this essay includes different features that are uh, represented here by this uh, uh, colorful bar. Um, the first one is uh, increased experimental efficiency. That means just that you are streamlining your analysis, you decrease the time to get actionable data and uh, results. Um, the most important thing is that you are going to reduce sequencing cost. As you know, in the experiments are scaling up, so with the uh, increased number of samples, uh, um, in the, the cost of a sequencing, uh, um, the cost of sequencing of a whole transcriptome data may not be uh, sustainable anymore. But in a targeted approach, the number of reads uh, per cells and also therefore the cost of sequencing uh, of each sample can go down uh, dramatically due to the higher number of uh, untargeted uh, reads. And in this example on the right, uh, we see, you know, starting from 8,000 uh, cells uh, that for a whole transcriptome analysis, uh, you might use um, 20,000 uh, read per cells, raw read per cells, um, for a, a total of 160, uh, 160 million reads. With uh, one uh, of our targeted panels, you can cut down uh, to 4,000 reads per cell. So there is a huge 80% uh, reduction in uh, sequencing cost. Um, our targeted solution are built on the, um, our existing uh, three prime, five prime uh, chemistries um, so that you are able to perform at the same time, uh, if you want, the whole transcriptome analysis and then move on targeted uh, gene expression with the same uh, sensitivities provided by both assays. So what we do, we using a hybrid capture uh, enrichment approach where uh, the enrichment uh, um, uh, is performed on the existing uh, gene expression uh, libraries. 
So that means that um, moving to the whole transcriptome analysis, if you are ready then to scale up with a targeted approach, you can focus on just those specific genes and then move faster. Um, it's a solution compatible with the gene expression and spatial, uh, but also with our uh, feature barcoding uh, technology, allowing then you to do um, targeted gene expression, uh, protein uh, and protein expression, for example, from the same uh, cell. Uh, furthermore, there is the possibility we provide uh, curated uh, pre-designed content and we offer the ability uh, to customize um, your panel with our uh, design tool. Uh, we are offering uh, uh, several extensive uh, tested uh, gene panels um, that are really cool and uh, are, um, that can help you to accelerate research in uh, four major areas. Uh, they are represented over here. The content uh, was selected and curated looking at uh, recent publication or based on um, uh, defined molecular uh, pathways, uh, but also talking to a lot of experts in the field. And Tenex is launching uh, uh, the human pan cancer that covers uh, 33 cancer types uh, and that can be used to profile the tumor microenvironment uh, and the heterogeneity of a sample um, or the uh, human uh, immunology panel that enables you to investigate the uh, innate and adaptive immunity or the uh, infection, or the response of infection or the inflammation or even uh, in, uh, in uh, immune oncology research. The gene signature panel um, can be used to analyze the activation or inhibition of important uh, signaling pathways as well as uh, disease and drug targets. And finally, the uh, human neuroscience panel uh, that will be launched a little bit later this year, uh, around uh, September, that covers uh, a broad range of genes that are involved in uh, neural development and neurodegenerative disease. All of these panels, as you can see, they contain uh, over uh, 1,000 uh, genes. And you can download uh, the panels uh, um, and the gene list on the tenxgenomics.com. Uh, even more crucially, our targeted gene expression essays are uh, customizable. You can uh, use the custom panel designer that will be launched uh, later uh, next week, and you can add up to uh, 200 genes on a pre-designed panel that you've seen before, or you can create a completely new, fully custom panel from, uh, 10, from a minimum of 10 genes uh, up to 1,500 genes, and even add uh, up to uh, 10 exogenous uh, sequence. Um, and now I'm going to tell you some um, of the uh, workflow details of the targeted uh, gene expression uh, solution. Um, as uh, described earlier, this workflow starts with a single cell suspension or a tissue session, a section which is converted uh, in a, a ready to sequence library based on one of our existing products like a single cell Expression, immune profiling or spatial uh, gene expression. Um, then using the targeted solution, a whole transcriptome library is going to be hybridized to a panel of bioaccumulated uh, oligonucleotide base that have been designed to target a specific set of genes. So those uh, bioaccumulated base are then captured using a streptavidin uh, dynabids that come along uh, with the, um, uh, that are associated um, um, uh, with the library fragments and then amplified to generate a targeted library that is ready for uh, Illumina sequencing. Uh, on the side, we can also integrate all the feature barcoding multiomic measurements uh, that came along with a single cell gene expression product, whatever is a, whether it is a single um, cell surface protein, uh, CRISPR perturbation, or antigen specificity of T cell receptor. And uh, the bioinformatic pipeline has also been updated uh, in a way that allows you to validate the targeted data and to compare those targeted data directly with the whole gene expression data that you may uh, analyze from the exactly same library. 
Um, and I can give you a little bit of review of some data that we generated uh, uh, during the development of uh, these essays. Um, this targeted and rich product is designed to uh, increase the representation of the panel genes in your rubbery over what you see in the whole transcriptome. So when we look at um, 1,000 and more gene panel, you can see that uh, it only comprises around 5 to 10 percent of all the reads from the whole transcriptome library in the three prime gene expression essay. And we tested over a variety of uh, sample types from uh, PBMC, uh, cell lines, or uh, dissociated tissue like glioblastoma. And uh, after enrichment, the percentage of reads mapping to the on-target transcriptome increase to 80 or 90 percent of uh, reads on target. Uh, you can see similar, very similar uh, signature if looking at the 5' prime single cell immune profiling product with 70-80 uh, uh, percent of the fraction of the reads mapped to the panel. Because um, our uh, Targeted products will enrich the final whole transcriptome library material. We can directly compare the performance of the targeted workflow with the, within the same sample sequenced at high uh, depth. In this uh, example, we sequenced uh, 6,000 PBMC at more than 100,000 uh, raw read uh, per cell for a whole um, transcriptome analysis and uh, compare it with a targeted sample uh, sequenced with an 85% reduction in sequencing reads, so just 12,000 raw reads per cell. And here we use the immunology panel. Uh, we, uh, when we look at the number of the UMI, so the RNA molecules detected per genes across uh, a sample in our targeted panel and compare, to, um, uh, and compare this number with um, the number of UMI per genes in the matched uh, whole transcriptome library, we see an excellent uh, concordance. Especially here, um, for some lowly expressed genes, we can actually see additional uh, UMIs in the targeted sample, and this is due to the uh, additional uh, per gene sequencing depth that is accessible with the targeted approach. Um, in this other slide, uh, on, the, on the left, we have a TSD plot, which represents uh, like the clusters coming from uh, analysis of the same 6,000 PBMC. So, um, the, uh, and those are clustered by differential gene expression in the whole transcriptome sample. Uh, that cell cluster or uh, those uh, cell types can be re uh, recapitulated using uh, in silico subset of genes, as we can see here in the middle. And um, in this case, basically what we used uh, is a subset of genes included in our immunology panel. And uh, these cell clusters can be also uh, identified, the same uh, cell cluster can be identified by uh, generating uh, an actual targeted library using this panel uh, and sequencing only at 2,000 uh, reads per cell. So this really shows the powerful of this technology in, uh, and help basically uh, researchers to decrease in the sequencing cost. If we look at the TSD plot, uh, sort of uh, gene by gene, um, you can see that the results of uh, deeper sequencing uh, allows to detect more molecules or UMI from the genes of interest. Um, in this example, uh, the top, uh, top 2A, top isomerase, is uh, a cell uh, proliferating, uh, um, proliferation marker correlated with uh, glioblastoma and other aggressive uh, cancer. In the, um, on, the on the left, in the whole transcriptome, um, is localized uh, basically uh, the expression of top 2 8 in a particular group of cells um, with 434 cells that are expressing this gene and 78 UMI maximum uh, expression. Now, if you are looking at the same set of cells, 
but in this case, with the, the targeted set sequenced uh, uh, again at um, 12,000 row reads per cells, you can see that we actually identify more cells that are expressing uh, the top two A and uh, the maximum uh, UMI expression is higher. Same as uh, for uh, CNPA, which is a centrometer associated variant of a histone H3 that is implicated in numerous uh, malignancies. Um, comparing again uh, the maximum number of UMI uh, detect, uh, detected for this gene, we can see a higher number of molecules uh, in the targeted data. Um, I also want to show you a real example because this paper uh, uh, is a publication that came out a uh, couple of months ago. Uh, the authors uh, used a um, pre-commercial targeted approach with, uh, the, with uh, our recommendation, so with the recommendation from Tenex Genomics, but not using the final bait design algorithm. And, uh, uh, here they implemented a direct capture uh, per tube seek, uh, so a versatile screening approach in which the single guide RNA are sequenced alongside the single cell transcriptomes. Uh, the um, highlighted quote uh, just emphasized that uh, those uh, rea uh, that rea rea sorry, reliable results uh, can be obtained uh, from targeted libraries at uh, that dramatic, uh, dramatically decreased uh, sequencing cost. Uh, moving on to uh, Visium solution, um, I want to uh, basically um, just uh, as a, um, I'll give you an idea of how this technology was tested as well on this, uh, um, on this platform. So Visium is this set of slides and reagents and software tool that enable you to uh, detect uh, and to measure the spatial gene expression patterns across the tissue sample. With uh, the um, whole transcriptome assay, you can make the discovery of novel gene signature, while with the targeted assay, assay uh, allows you to focus on selection uh, of genes uh, um, that are more important to your research aim. And uh, this protocol will be supported, uh, um, and as well the, soft, uh, the software for spatial targeted analysis will come in, uh, uh, in, the, will come in the near future. Uh, just to give you a brief overview, here is shown uh, the workflow. The tissue slice uh, usually is placed on one of those uh, uh, four capture areas on the visual slide. After h and &E staining, uh, the microscope image is uh, captured, and then the tissue can be permeabilized to release the messenger RNA, and uh, that is converted in a barcoded uh, cDNA. Uh, the library can be sequenced and then the NGS readout is going to be uh, combined uh, with our software, with Tenex software solution, uh, with the HNA image in order to map the gene expression activity on the tissue section. Shown here, it's um, a standard Visium experiment uh, where we sectioned a human breast cancer sample and performed the first h &E staining uh, right on the Visium capture area and took it uh, uh, through the Visium workflow and analysis. Uh, we can see the 5,000 spots that are overlaid on the top of the h and &E image, and you can characterize the, the tumor by looking at the different clustering based on the gene expression data mapped on, on the image data. On the left, we sequenced uh, to a depth of uh, 50,000 uh, reads per, per spot, which is uh, the recommended sequencing for whole transcriptome analysis in Visium. And on the right, um, we see um, the same section processed with the pan cancer targeted panel, where uh, we only had to sequence to uh, 10,000 reads per spot. And and still you could recapitulate all the major biology, the clustering that you see with the whole transcriptome assay. Uh, when we look as well at the correlation of UMI uh, per gene between uh, these uh, two experiments, we see the correlation is uh, extremely high. Uh, 
um, in terms of uh, UMI uh, of the targeted pan cancer uh, compared uh, to the UMI count of the whole transplant of the um, sample. This is an image of the uh, human uh, triple negative breast cancer. Um, it's a sample visualized in Loop. Loop is our uh, browser software that can be used uh, to um, turn the HNA image into Visium data. Uh, what we did here is was to ask a pathologist to work on this image and um, directly annotate where uh, they see interesting morphology. And uh, they identified uh, six major areas of interest by morphology. Um, and we can see, uh, for example, here a, uh, a, large, a large area of invasive uh, ductal carcinoma and uh, some small area on the side that are uh, uh, more related to immune compartment. This was based on this uh, pathology annotation. Then, um, you can convert those annotations in uh, Visium uh, spots. In this uh, uh, same uh, uh, breast cancer sample, uh, using the pan cancer targeted panel, we identified eight uh, different clusters based on the gene expression data, and they cluster really in specific morphologies, really matching what were the annotation uh, taken by the pathologists within the h &E, uh, image. What we did, we, what we can do is also focus on specific genes within uh, each of these clusters, like in this uh, cluster one, uh, we showed the top differentially expressed gene, um, which is uh, VEGFA, uh, -E uh, vascular endothelial growth factor A, um, uh, factor A that is commonly related to angiogenesis and which appears, you know, as those uh, light yellow uh, dots uh, to be primarily expressed within the tumor compartment. Or in, um, um, we, we can show the top differentially expressed, uh, expressed gene cluster uh, 6, which is uh, the CD79B, and it's a pan uh, B cell marker and is uh, primarily expressed within uh, the immune compartment. So there is this nice and direct correlation between uh, those specific markers and the annotation taken by the pathology. Uh, in a few days, as I mentioned before, we will also provide the access uh, to our custom panel designer um, where, I, where you can add up to 200 genes on pre-designed panel or to create a full-on custom panel and add up to 10 exogenous genes or uh, reporter uh, genes. You just need to create an, acta an account and then uh, select the pre-designed panel or design a total new custom panel. Um, we also show that uh, the customized content can be recovered efficiently with some uh, data that I'm going to show you now. Um, for example, we use the pre-designed uh, human pan uh, cancer panel and uh, added uh, 10 randomly selected genes with a low expression in, uh, in light blue and uh, with high expression in yellow. Then we also compare, we compare basically the UMI count between the targeted and the control for the whole transcriptome. And the UMI counts of these genes correlate well between uh, both uh, libraries. And similar results were obtained uh, when adding on uh, 200 genes on the human pan cancer panel. On, and uh, even when usually um, taking uh, uh, those 200 genes by themselves and creating a fully custom panel. Um, and as I mentioned earlier... Oh, oh, sorry, we really have trouble if, uh, hearing you. I think it's something with your microphone. So you're on and oh. off. All oh, right. Can you hear me better? Uh, slightly. Slightly, okay. Let me just check the connection is good. <clears throat> well, because it's getting worse, so... Mm. Yeah. Okay, basically I'm nearly at the end of the presentation. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, really like summarizing our points that uh, the new targeted gene expression allows you to uh, get 
um, to reduce the sequencing cost because there is more way of uh, use uh, efficiently uh, the sequencing uh, uh, from the Illumina and then um, the optimized bay design um, can have a high coverage uniformity across all the targets and you can really accelerate your research using the pre-designed panel or customized panel and still you can maintain the flexibility to perform both whole transcriptome and targeted analysis from the same library. Um, with this, um, after this introduction, I want to really uh, thank you um, for listening today. Uh, I would like to thank our uh, collaborators, uh, Perlan, uh, and uh, all the people who made um, um, who, who were in involved in the uh, success of this uh, webinar today. If you have any questions, please just type them in in the Q and A uh, box. Thank you. Thank you, Luca, for a great presentation. We are now ready for the Q&A session. So as Luca just said, please type your question into the Q&A box. Luca, I would like to ask you, since uh, you stretched several times that uh, it is important that these targeted panels may help to reduce the sequencing cost then how do you determine the sequencing depth in a targeted experiment? Yeah, sure. I mean, basically... Do you want me to do that, Luca? Yeah. yeah. Um, so there are um, two ways. So the first time, when, when you set up the um, targeted panel for the first time, you would go through a optimization phase first. So um, as part of the protocol, you would do the whole transcript library because you, you, you create it anyway. And this first library, you will have to sequence as normal um, because in the first run, you need to determine whether the, um, um, the sample is good quality, whether the, the setting up of the, of the sample preparation is good quality, um, et cetera, et cetera. And in there, you will know how deep you need to sequence. And then after that, once you have um, identified that your panel is working for that particular sample, you can then skip that first step and sequence only the targeted panel. And from then, you will know how much you need to sequence. The sequencing depth is approximately, uh, what was it, 10 to 20% of the sequencing depth that you would need for the full library, mm -hmm. approximately. So it's, it's a two-step process. Okay, thank you. And the second question, if I may, is uh, about the second part of your presentation. So the Visium product range. Uh, if I understand correctly, we cannot reach a single cell resolution with Visium. Do I understand it correctly? It would depend on the tissue and the cell type. So I would say, as, as a general rule, no, we, you cannot guarantee single cell resolution um, because the spots are not that size. The spots are 55 micrometer. So if, you, if you're working with a tissue and um, that tissue in that particular area that you're interested in contains really huge cells, like big cells, then yes, it's possible that you're going to have a single cell on the spot. But that's, I, I think that's going to be more the exception to the rule. Um, usually cells will be a little bit smaller, I, I guess. Well, okay. again, it depends on the tissue. Um, usually you're going to have between one to a few cells per spot, depending on the tissue section and the cell size that you're working with. Okay, thank you. I have a question. This is Chiara, actually. Um, so going back to the sequencing depth, you said that basically it's a two-step two process. So you will have to do a sequencing of your whole, uh, say, gene expression, uh, so the whole transcriptome, whatever you capture. And then after that, once you define, but you know, the level of depth that you get information from, then you can go on and do the panel. But what if I already had work on single cell and I already have my sequencing, say, parameters for my tissue? Do I need to do that extra step or can I just go straight to a targeted panel? In, in that case, you could go straight. I mean, if you, if you know, um, uh, let's say you already have um, a established sample type that you're working with regularly, 
um, or a established library. I mean, it's possible like people that already have been using single cell um, whole transcript essays and they have frozen their libraries. I mean, those are the same libraries. You could even ah, go back okay. and, mm -hmm. and take the library from your freezer that you have generated a year ago and do it now. Um, as long as you know how deep you needed to sequence for that library, you can skip that part and of course that go directly and try the panel out on that sample directly. Huh. So if I already have a frozen cDNA library with um, the whole genome, sorry, the whole um, uh, transcript, transcript, then I can then reach from there? Yeah, you could go directly. I mean, it's it's the library is literally the same thing. The only right. thing that is new is a, is a new add-on module that starts from the library. So if, if you have already libraries lying around, you could easily just start from there. Cool. Okay. Thank you. And can I add something, Kat? Yeah. Uh, is about um, approximately is needed, um, if I'm not wrong, 300 nanograms uh, for each whole transcriptome input library. And in case like the uh, insufficient materials, in case the material is not available, uh, we do also provide a library um, uh, amplification kit that can be used to amplify the library before beginning the hybrid capture workflow. You can, there's the amplification kit will amplify the final library uh -huh. to pr create more of the product in case you don't have enough to run on the targeted yeah. assay. Yeah. 